It's no secret that the world's been turned on its head early in 2020 as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, and everyday items have disappeared off the shelves due to hoarding and hysteria. If you've tried to buy toilet paper in the last 60 days, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make the most of a quite literal shitty situation by installing a bidet. My name's Aaron Massey, and welcome back to another episode of Homeschool. I rate these projects by how many F-bombs you're likely to drop while tackling the project. This project is pretty f***ing easy, but it can vary slightly based on the bidet that you choose. First, you'll need to order a bidet. And while toilet paper has been in scarce supply, many bidet brands seem to be doing well and are well stocked online. I picked up this $40 Lux bidet off of Amazon. Now the price ranges from these things can go anywhere from $40 to $1,000, depending on how many bells and whistles you want. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna show you how to install this simple one that doesn't include a heater or a dryer. So first of all, before you get started with this project, you'll probably want to clean your toilet well. You're gonna be getting up close and personal with it, so you might as well take the time to clean it before you get down and dirty with it. Put your hair up and roll up your sleeves and give it a nice cleaning. Next, you'll want to turn the water supply valve off at the base of the toilet and flush the toilet to drain any water from the tank in the back. With the water drained, next you can remove the toilet seat by popping up the caps to access the mounting screws on the back of the seat. Using a screwdriver, loosen the mounting screws and retaining nuts on the underside of the seat and remove it. From there, add the adjustment plates to the bidet assembly and place it back on the toilet. The adjustment plates can be spun to align the mounting screws for your particular toilet. Next, reinstall the toilet seat on top of the bidet and re-secure it in place with the mounting screws and retaining nuts underneath. So the only drawback that I can find on this particular bidet is that the seat doesn't close all the way when you're not sitting on it. So there's a small gap, so the toilet seat kind of floats, but once you sit on it, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really affect anything, but if you care about that sort of thing, maybe there's a different seat you can put on it or an adjustment or something, but it doesn't really bother me, so I just leave it as is. Once the bidet is installed, we'll shift gears to the toilet supply line. Grab a small bucket or a container to catch any residual water that's still in the toilet tank and remove the supply line from the toilet by unthreading it from the fill valve. Make sure the rubber gasket that came with the bidet is inserted into the included T-valve and thread the T-valve onto the toilet fill valve assembly and make sure the outlet is facing towards the front of the toilet. Once installed, connect the small braided hose that came with your bidet to the back of the bidet control module and connect the supply line from the shutoff valve to the bottom of the T-valve. You may need to use some thread tape to ensure a tight seal here. There's also a small plastic wrench included with the bidet but you may also need a pair of channel lock pliers to tighten if you experience any leaking. Once the water lines are installed, turn the supply valve back on at the wall and allow the tank to fill with water while also checking the assembly for leaks. If there's no leaks, it's time to test the bidet. Now, if you try to test it without sitting on it, beware that the water is gonna shoot across the room like a rocket, so I recommend that you test it when you actually plan to use it. The first time that you use a bidet can be a little bit jarring, so I recommend that you keep it on a low setting until you get a little bit more comfortable with it. However, once you get used to it, you may find it difficult to go back to your old bathroom habits. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you learned something. Installing a bidet is a super easy project to hopefully avoid the hassle of trying to buy TP in this crazy world that we're all finding ourselves in. I hope you and yours are staying safe and healthy during this pandemic. And I, like many people, am trying to find ways to help out during this crisis and support those on the front lines. So I've been 3D printing PPE components for medical professionals and essential personnel that I'm sending for free to those in need. If you'd like to support my efforts and bring no cost PPE to those in need, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can make a small donation to help out. 100% of the proceeds will go towards materials, shipping and production costs to distribute them to those that need them. And if you'd like to download the files and print them for yourselves or your community, there's a link down below where you can download the files for free as well. If you did like this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel for more DIY home improvement and repair projects. And as always, you can find all my how-to tutorials and content on my website at mrfixitdiy.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.